Welcome back to <laughs> All About the Bays. I just want to destroy your hair down. Welcome back to All About the Bays. We are so happy to be doing our first Bit About the Bays chit chat series, where we'll be answering all of y'all's questions and spilling all of them to me today. So I am so excited. If you don't know who we are, I'm Britannia, and this is my Bye. lovely husband, Lonnie. We've been married for. Ooh, I was about to lie. We've been no three. We just had a third well, anniversary. Going on a third year. No, it's third. We got married in 2016. There's a little math <laughs> meme. <laughs> yes, we've been married for about three years, um, and we've been together for nine, almost eight, eight, eight years. Eight years. We will be answering some questions that we got on our social media, and. First off, I want to go to our questions. I wrote them down because if you know me, I'm just like a very organized, organized person. And then I lost the card. So if you guys have any questions, go ahead and comment them there and we will see. Hi! We will see you guys post them and answer them right here on this video. We will be posting this video edited a little bit, just, just a tiny bit on our YouTube page. So there's a link in our little post to have you go ahead and go over to our YouTube page, hit that subscribe button. Yes. And follow us on all of our all of our platforms. The like. Hit the describe button. And not the, like. the describe. Oh my describe. goodness. This man will say all the wrong things in this video, but it's gonna be cute. So let's see. Our first thing that we want to go ahead and get out of the way is our hashtag Bay's Bay of the Week. And that goes out to Jerome. Wait, 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 wait. You, you heard me. I'm hurting you. Because I know you're going to do crazy stuff. That goes out to our lovely <laughs> Facebook <laughs> friend, <laughs> Taylor <laughs> Dawn. Thank you so much, girl, for having us answer some questions that you're wondering. Her question was, what is it like raising twins? And we will get to that in just a bit. But first, we're going to answer some questions to give you all a little backstory about who we eat. All right. Obviously, I'm Britannia. I um, just had my 24th birthday. Comment below, happy birthday to me and my twin sister. Ah, love you guys. And go ahead and introduce yourself. I am Lonnie. I have not had my 26th birthday, but I am 25. It's 25. <laughs> That's a weird introduction. I haven't had my 26th birthday yet. Wow, I was wrong. You would suggest <laughs> But anyway, we will first answer a few questions that we got on social media about how we met. We met at rugby at practice. Rugby, and we both went to two different schools that used a club sport, right? Yeah. It was a club sport. We went to different high schools. We've been high school sweethearts first off, let's say that. Yeah. And we met in 2011. I was a sophomore and he was a junior. And we met by going through the Panther City rugby team, holler, shout out to them. Whoa, whoa, we're not even connected anymore. Yeah. We, we, met, <laughs> we met through rugby, and ever since then, we've just sort of kind of hit it off. <laughs> hit it off! Why do you have to hit me? You said hit it. Oh, you do like a fist bump, or you do like a. Hit it off. We sort of hit it off, kind of. Sort of. Sometimes. Kind of. Sometimes. I mean, we're still together. We have two kids. I mean, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> but the next question that we have is, how long have we been together? I think we kind of answered that in the intro. Yeah, you said eight years. Trivia, how long have we been together? Eight years. When did we get together? When? Are you trying to say the date and stuff? When was the date? I don't know. Time. I don't know. I need the date, the month, the day, the year. The time, the time, the time, the hour, the seconds, the minutes. Do you not remember? No, I do Okay, so I remember because I'm a lovely spouse. We got together 
October 31st, 2011, and he sent me a text message at 9.37 p.m. saying, will you be my girl? I was like, ah! my little, little heart was like, oh my gosh. And at the time, like, we had been listening to a song that always played on the radio, but do you remember that? It was something about being my girl. I said, are you going to be my girl? That was it. Yeah. But it was like near the day. No, it doesn't. It says it all the time. Hey, guys, thanks for joining us. It says it all the time. Yes. Our next question was... I forgot. I thought you had some more rotten down and everything. Rotten is not a word. Our next question was... How, oh my goodness, Where, what are the next questions? How we met, how long have we been married? I think that, that was all that backstory. Now we can get into about the twins. How do we, how do we come upon the twins? I was at raising twins. Well, it is fun at a point and it is very busy, lots of time consuming and lots of non Time sleeping and time of other stuff we want to do. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a balance here. Like, uh, it's just uh, you have your hands full every yeah. every every moment of the of the day. We actually have to do our live video early to get some more questions filtering in because they're sleeping right now. So that's kind of how it is, raising twins. You just gotta go with the flow. Um, but me personally like raising twins like when i'm here by myself and mommy's at work i say that raising twins is like second nature to me because i'm a twin i've always had another person next to me so it just feels normal and i just i don't know i can't see it any other way if i had a single singleton i would just i don't know i'd be weird but this is always my dream to have twins at a certain age which my husband partner was a certain age I've just prophesied this so much, but I'll tell you all that. <laughs> I am <laughs> No, I've just prophesied that. I'm seriously, like, a lot. I've prophesied it a lot, like, in childhood dreams and journals and stuff. I used to be back there. It's crazy. Word to use, though. No, that's what it is. That's Prophes what prophesied means. Anyhow. <laughs> but, yeah, I always love, like, just the idea of having boy-girl twins. Now, that one... I never thought would come true, but it's just so great to like see how they're different personalities. Are yeah, how... and honestly, I didn't think not either one of them looked like me, but Via is starting to look like me. Oh, What's her heart? Uh oh, there they go. We're gonna try to speed this up. We were trying to keep this under 15 minutes, but I think we're already at eight. So we got other questions to go. Um, how has being a twin parent changed us individually? Um, I don't think it really has changed as much. Just learning how to do more things. And do more. I don't think it really changed much. I think it has changed me, first off, my body. Yes, I've been transformed into my, mother. my body. Shout out to all the moms out there because I know what it's like to just transform yourself into a whole different person that you can't recognize sometimes but you're just happy that you're in a different place um and along with that comes like a mental transformation but like changing me like it has made me just a more like giving person i, I already am like pretty giving i'm always like concerned about others and stuff you know, so. with our, i mean that's that but changing. with my children my children's oh my goodness like i just give and give to them like i just can't see my life not being like that so i don't know i'm just a very empathic person and i just feel on different levels that are you know just typical i would say and so like it has just changed me to be more emotional let my guard down um to just love my children just like fully and unconditionally like i'm getting to know what unconditional love is and that is Oh, that is a, a really good, good thing, honestly. You change? Mm -hmm. I mean, now that I'm more playful, because I play with kids. 
he actually gets to bring out his playful side. So <laughs> it's kind of, you know, like, okay, I have three kids on my hands sometimes. He is a really, really funny person. Especially with our kids. They just crack up everything he says. Everything. Yeah. Farts, <laughs> snorts, everything. Snorts. <laughs> yes. So another question that we got was, how do we say our kids' names? And what do they mean? So, you want to do it? Or? Mm, do you want to? You want one? one? Okay, go. Crade Ose with the Ose in it. Crade Ose with the O at the S, O S. And it means strong. Like, like strength. Yeah. And then his middle name is Leander, which means a lion of a man. I chose that. Kratos, you want to give a backstory why we chose Kratos? In a way, at that time, I was playing God of War on PlayStation. on PlayStation, and I kind of got into it, and then looked up. We looked up the name, and also figured out what it means and strength, and it kind of just grew on. Yes, that. so I am a Greek mythology bust. Like, oh, I love it. Like, I love. Did I say bust? Buff. I'm, I really, <laughs> I love buff. I really love like Greek mythology and listening and learning about different like heritages and so like I've always followed all the famous Greek gods like Athena and Aphrodite, Zeus, um, Ares, all those all those gods and stuff. So yeah, when I found Athena and God, yeah. <laughs> so when I found that we were actually expecting twins and boy girl twins, I looked into the backstory of Kratos and um saw that there are different Greek mythologies, not based off of what he got it from, like God of War, but there are different um, mythologies that say that Kratos and Kratos had a sister and her name was Bia. So that's where we got Bia from. And Bia was the goddess of force. Now, strength and force go together like, just like that. So I was like, oh my gosh, it just makes sense. Like it felt like the world was like, Destin, like putting all this in my brain, in my pregnant brain at that. And I was just like, Lonnie, we have to name them this. And he's like, as long as I get Kratos, I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'll, I'll get with the story later on in life. And so I was just like, oh, okay. This is what we're, they're going to be. So Bia's name is Bia Ari, which means force and one of the best thinkers, like she's a really good thinker, which she is, like their personality. I felt their naming on a spiritual level. Always oh, says she's a force to be, to be reckoned with. Yes, her voice, her just the vocal range of her, like is just so oh, it's amazing. If you guys, I will never put her like screeching on here, but her voice is polyphonic. Go look up the definition. She has two tones in her voice, so I cannot wait to like harvest that and grow that up and make her just like this great singer. Oh my gosh. Because she already singing all the time. She's going to be just like me. She's going to be just like me. Um, but yeah, yeah, they also have, okay, this is a little plug that we're going to give y'all. They In Greek mythology, Kratos and Dia also have another set of brothers, sisters, and we've looked at them as kind of twins as well. And the names are Nike and Zelos which actually mean pretty good things as well. So if we ever had, I always tell him if we were to get pregnant again, I know I'm gonna have boy girl twins. <laughs> it's already prophesied. And so like my mind is like, that sounds crazy. Comment below if I sound crazy. Building on <laughs> I think I'm not crazy, but like women, we be knowing. We be knowing, right? We be knowing. Thank you. We, we know what's in our body. We know what's what there. goes in their body. Is. Yeah, we know what goes in and comes out. <laughs> we know. We just know. And so I just really, um, I really, like, am so into that, like, those names. The only thing about this was Zelos and Nike were actually born first. And so Kratos and Dia were the second of the twins, like, that go together. So and we so, got it backwards. I don't care. I'm still named them. <laughs> and I told him that we were going to change our names. I told him I wanted to change our names to Sticks and Palos. Uh, yeah. so yes, because that was the parents. Or I wanted them to like call us like nicknames for like mom and dad. Call me Sticks or call them Palos, you know. Sticks means the goddess of river. Um, river. Uh, which that's my, that's where my soul flows. Yeah. 
and Blue is like one of my one of the best colors. So. Anyway, next like question yellow was, was yellow it is a good color. All colors, All colors are great. Okay. So next question was, um, how long have we had Athena? We've had her for four years. I feel like my babies are up, so I'm gonna go check. Hold on. So yeah, we have had Athena for four years. I got her from a family that I used to do house cleaning for, and I they had a pug that had babies, and we had took one. And they had three, four of them. Four different ones. I took one home. Yeah, he, he just brought one home. The small, small run. Of I was family. actually in a very depressive season. I was in college, and he brought me a puppy home like during a, a final exam week or whatever. And I was like, oh, I was just like so ecstatic. Like I love this puppy. I raised it with my best friends in college, um, Audrey and Bree. Shout out to y'all. Love y'all still. Haven't talked to y'all in a long time. In my she used to like fit in her pockets. <laughs> and I used to take her in my satchel and just take her to class sometimes. So I'd just be touching her and like people I let her walk on the floor. We actually got in trouble for that. In a Bible class, I got in trouble for letting her uh just walk around <laughs> during one of our tests. And I was telling my teacher, oh she's just here for you know me. I'm having a, a rough time and I couldn't leave her at home. She was just a little puppy like I love my animals, but we actually litter box trained her, which is weird for people to like understand. But she's like a cat. She's a really awesome dog. She's a smart dog. Too. Smart, pugnacious, like always ready to like. And for some reason, just she jump on, pounce on. Her. Train on her own to chase her tail when we shut doors. Yeah, she did, no, she has some rejection issues. <laughs> On our own. On our own. We didn't we didn't reject her. We have to leave. We have to go somewhere sometimes. And so when we do close the door on her, which you guys will probably see in our vlog, whatever, she just like goes crazy. She chases her tail and she's fine. You know, she'll come out of it and she's like <laughs> But she just gets like really upset. You tried to like stop and we did like the season along like clicker thing like to stop a behavior but no that's just a little quirk that she has we, oh, we've grown a lot of the power <laughs> it is a little power she gets like she's like it's like the have you ever seen this the snake eating its own tail that's what she does like she's really going like around and around in one circle just throwing her fit that we're leaving <laughs> so like, nah! i don't think she ever catches it mm -hmm. it's curled she's got a curly tail <laughs> next question was let's see Y'all, I'm all off subject. We both are. But I'm so happy that we got to do this. Sometimes, like, editing videos, I really like that we're doing this live because sometimes editing just takes a long time. And that's why we hadn't post so much. But another question that we had was, when we build our tiny home in our bus, are we going to start vlogging more? I'll let you. I think we will. Maybe. We just didn't. Our kids will be older, so we will have more free time. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm so excited. Lonnie and I kind of see differently on the whole um, bus idea. Like, I don't mind where we live or what we live in. I just want us to have our own land and not, like, have a you know, really big thing on the house or whatever. I'm a minimalist, and honestly, this man, he wants everything. He sees something he wants. He's like, buy it, Amazon, buy now. I just swipe to the right, you know. He's 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 more materialistic than I am, I would say. But the things that I do have, like I cherish them for a long time. And so, like, if we when we do, let me put this. I'm claiming it. Claim it. When we do get our bus, we will be vlogging bus life. I plan to do a lot of things like homeschooling on the bus and just what else is there to do? Homeschooling and working as a speech th speech therapist. Honey, my own speech therapy. <laughs> a speech therapist and just building towards my goal of having my own um, practice where I can help children with special needs. So I really I really want to travel with the kids too, like us to get out and see things. We haven't really been outside of the U.S. other than our trip to Cosmo, Mexico, and 
I went on a couple trips around uh, the United States. So, it's still first of all, the US, though, the United States. I said, oh, I'll put it around the We went to uh, um, Canada. <laughs> we did not go to Canada. We didn't go to Canada. Uh, we went to. Uh, <laughs> you know, we went to Canada. When? <laughs> when? And what part of these? What our last that? vacation we went. Oh my goodness, Tamara said we could be. I could be Miss Frizzle. I can be Miss Frizzle. Yes. I grew up on the Magic School Bus, so yes, I. I always used to wear my long dresses and skirts and just be like so magical, especially when I worked for you, Tamara. So I definitely think I can be Miss Frizzle on the bus. And we could use that as like a. We gotta get a bus that transforms. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> we still we're still working on the mechanics of making it shrink so we can do like digestive lessons. I ain't going nobody. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna put our kids at risk. Oh, but that would be such a cool series. They would be eaten by body acid or something like that. In a hypothetical. The base has been eaten, digested by body acid. We could call of it Athena's we could call body. It the magic <laughs> school base. The magic school bus. Instead of magic school bus. Magic school bus. He had a slow eye roll, y'all. A slow eye roll. Yes, but we are trying to build our careers, which leads us to our next question. What What do we do? What do we do for a living? What do you do? I'm a custodian. I clean school for ma, a living. Ma, ma, ma. <laughs> you gotta do that. Every okay. time. I do. <laughs> you are a custodian. Let me. Uh oh, my video over here. Me too. Okay. Sorry, we're trying to record on two different things. Hold on, y'all. Go, go, go. And my wife is uh. Oh, a you said my wife. Care, uh, I'm your daycare wife. Daycare at home. She runs her own daycare at home. Yes. If you guys know anything about me, I love working in childcare. I love early education. I went to college to get my speech therapy degree, which I only have my mas um, my bachelor's in. I want to get my master's. Big goal is my PhD. So um, if you guys know that about me, I want to like, just impact children in their learning as, as often as I can. So I run a home daycare, which does it's not just you run of the middle daycare. It's called Our Loving Village, and we have it here in our home that we rent. And it is it has given me like that um, that little plug for the passion that I have to work with children, like seeing them develop and helping them work through like social emotional skills and things like that. I use Montessori approach, and I have um, books on conscious discipline, positive guidance strategies that I love to use, and just I just really, I love working with children, so that's what I do here in my home. If you guys love me, I will post a link to my business Facebook page for our Living Village Home Daycare, and if you could just please really like that, if you know how kind-hearted I am, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, next question was, what are our goals for life? Like, what do, what do we want in life? My goal? is to be a blacksmith and welder and open up my own shop. Tell me more. Tell me more. Her goal is... No, tell me more. I'll tell you more. Well, that's it. I want to be blacksmith and welder. And have my now see shop. how he just leads me home. He's just like, Lead I want to be a, a blacksmith. I want to have my own welder. You got to tell me I'm going to be slaving away at the iron, hitting it with a, what do you call it? Uh, Making swords. Making swords. Ooh. We watch Forge and Fire, by the way. That's a good show. The other thing um, that I want to do, again, I already said speech therapist, but like open up my own special needs school. I have so many dreams. Oh, God. It's like I am a dreamer if you know anything about me. And I do not procrastinate. I get on things and jump at opportunities and love partnering with anybody else. So if you guys ever have any of those interests as well, I love networking. So send me a message through here or find my personal Facebook page and tell me what your passions are so we can collab and we can have a great business. I want to run a multidisciplinary, like special needs school. So it's going to be like a lot of, a lot of work. I am not going to claim that for this year, but by 2025, that's my plan. That's my goal to just five years. Five years. 
31. <laughs> You'll be 31, yeah. Ooh, you crusty. I'll be 29 in the prime of my youth. <coughs> I am in the prime of my youth. Uh, 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 <laughs> Next question is uh, from Andy. We actually got her question off of Facebook as well. When we read books to the babies, what are our favorite books to read to them at this time? Mine is Daddy Playground. Daddy's the Best Playground Brand. by Lucia. I can't say the name. It's a really cute book. It has a boy and a little girl. So I, I got it for him at the library thinking like, hey, hey, we have boy girl twin. They can see themselves in this book. So. Yours. Mine is reading any book to them, honestly. I love reading to them. Kratos, um, actually, he loves reading a book that's in Spanish. Like, they love me reading books in different languages, and they have no idea what it means yet. But I plan to, like, um, read them you know, different books in different languages and teach them different languages. But that doesn't really help when they only have one trilingual parent. So I know ASL and Spanish. So, Lonnie, how many languages do you know? One. English. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> Barely. My husband is such a great, great person. But, yeah, English. English language is, is hard. So for all those multilingual my, uh, people out there, y'all are doing a great job. Y'all tell me, tell me, you know, if y'all can come help me teach my children, I'd love that. Or if y'all have some educational videos that y'all watch. I know a lot of parents out there. If y'all have educational videos that y'all watch in different languages, send them to me because I'm always like trying to figure out what I can filter in there. Um, the few little TV time that they do have, um, if I can do that. So what else? What is our other question? Change it to me. My mom had a question, mother. She asked when, oh, that's what it's called, unilingual. That's great, Tammy. I think about that. Unilingual, like universal mm -hmm. language. Mm -hmm. I guess not, no. Yes, yeah, so if that's what it is, I think so. Bilingual, trilingual, quadrilingual. And your mom had a question. Uh, uh, my mom had a question. When will we be moving back to the Dallas Fort Worth area? And my answer to that is maybe this summer. We got some stuff in the works. So maybe this summer we'll be moving back to our hometown or up closer to there. Sadly, we love our Abilene family, but work prospects and things aren't picking up here. So maybe we'll try in another town. Maybe. And it's mostly for him. So. We gotta find um, more stable work for him to do up here so he can get his career goals. Because we're all about that entrepreneurship. Um, next question was what TV shows are we into? On three. One, two, three. Supernatural. Supernatural. <laughs> See, we are actually upset because it's on hiatus right now. If you guys are Supernatural fans, comment SPN in the comments. Put a little hashtag and tell us what was your favorite episode from Supernatural. We love them all, honestly. But this season, spoiler alert, stop the video now if you don't want to know. This season has been a whole bunch of filler. I'm really disappointed. And then uh, Jason, I mean, it's just now I'm getting there. Finally. Oh, they're going to fight God, God. finally. Oh, don't oh, say. I'm sorry. I said spoiler alert, so. Um, but with this, like, I don't know, I think the actors are kind of distracted. Of course, Jared Padalecki, who just got arrested in Austin, Texas, had to rep our state like that. No. Crazy man. But yeah, he got arrested for disorderly conduct and being drunk in public. Um, so I don't think he's focused. And then Misha's off doing his own thing with his cookbook and journey, which I'm so happy for these guys, but it's really not playing out in the season. The only thing I can be proud of, Dean's personality is coming through like really strong. So. But that's because he's fine. He's fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love you. you. He's salty. So. 
other than that, I think we had, let's see. Oh, it had cameras are out. It's beautiful. Oh, what is the other question that we had? What's our favorite food? Our favorite, well, my favorite food is pizza. pizza. And her favorite food is fish. What is it called? Nice. What does it look like? Pink. It's salmon. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll eat salmon any day. Which I haven't even eaten salmon in almost a year. I don't know why. But my favorite food is food. Like, I'm a foodie. I love to eat and try to think. When I cook, I cook very simple meals. Just and now I have grown also love shrimp. Shrimp and avocados. Avocado, I don't know. These, there's some little hooligans outside. I don't know what, know what they were doing by our car, but yeah. Sorry, guys, I got distracted. Um, the next question, I think we're out of questions, actually. Yeah, if you guys have any more questions, just let us know, and we'll do an update video to this. We did have a few poll questions in this video. If you answer them, we will love to see what you think for each question, like who farts the most? Farts the most, what was the question? Hmm. The dog. <laughs> no, no, he blames it on, on Athena. Poor little Athena, her little body can't hold all of that steak. I'm telling you, um, okay. You say that when she comes up beside you and farts, it's a whole different story. You're like, get off me, Athena. Go, you can Oh man, her farts, my goodness. So if you got that right, <laughs> good for you. Athena has the worst farts in the world. Like. Like, she doesn't even eat different things. Like, why does it smell so bad? But, yeah. And then who drives? <laughs> who drives the bus? Oh, excuse me. Where, where'd you go? I didn't see it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Your finger's having a a stroke right now. Because no. I... <laughs> who drew the camper? It's not worse. Okay, he did drive the camper. However, on the way, he was a nervous wreck. And oh, can I get over here? Can I get over there? That I don't ask questions. I'm a very, driver, I mean. I'm a very knowledgeable driver. I don't ask that questions. That has the backseat driver. Hashtag yourself as the best driver if you are the best driver in your relationship. Because honestly, I'm the best driver. Uh huh. Who drew the driver? Driver up the driveway. <laughs> By himself. <laughs> Look at that little arm roll. Okay, I'll give him with with that, yes. But who's just like the regular best driver, like everyday life? Me. And I don't even drive that. There's no such thing as an everyday life best driver. There's such yeah, thing as a just... best driver, not every day. Another question was who has the worst morning breath? Him or Kratos? Because it ain't me. I wake up <clears> and <throat> my breath smell like roast. It smells like roast. It honestly, his breath is the worst in the morning. Like, if I could just drop some Listerine down his throat while he's sleeping, <laughs> trying to kill me, <laughs> that would be great. Oh my goodness, that would be great. He's trying to kill me. <laughs> it's okay. But that is all the questions that we have for today. If you guys love what you saw, go ahead and look at the post. We put a link in the description to follow us on all of our social media platforms. And remember, don't be basic. Get your base fixed by following us on social media. We will be doing more like this and hopefully posting every week. We won't go live every week, but we will definitely do something like this. And we have some vlogs coming up, past vlogs and current vlogs. So stay tuned and especially support us on YouTube. We are trying to get our brand up and going so that we can get more things. Thank you guys for all the love. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. You, that's how you're going to say bye to bye. me? Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> that was so fun. I love it.